Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're pulling a single card out of a deck of cards, and we have two probabilities. Probability A is the probability that we'll pull out an ace. Probability B is the probability that the card we draw is a card of diamonds. And so the question is, are they mutually exclusive events, and are they dependent or independent events? So here, we have to conclude that they are not mutually exclusive. The reason for that is they can be both an ace and diamonds, for example, the ace of diamonds. So when we draw a Venn diagram, we can clearly see that there's an overlap. It can both be a diamond and an ace, ace of diamonds. So they're not mutually exclusive. Next, what does it mean that we now find the probability of A and B? Since they're not mutually exclusive, the answer is that it's the product of the probability of A times the probability of B. Now, we could not, we could not do that if they were mutually exclusive, but in this case, we can. And so here we can see that the probability of A, drawing an ace, is 4 out of 52, or 1 out of 13. And we multiply that times the probability of B, which is the probability of drawing a diamond, which is 1 out of 4. And you can see then when we multiply, we get 1 out of 52. There's only a single card that can be both an ace and a diamond. The question now is, are they independent? Well, they're independent if one does not affect the other. So in this case, we can say yes. And let's find out why we can say that. Well, notice that once we know the outcome of A, it does not have any effect on B. For example, let's say that, um, I think I may have this in reverse. Let's take a look here. Once we know the outcome of B, it will not affect A. So let me turn these around. And then here, let's call this A and B. I think that would be better. All right. Now. Once we know the outcome of B, does it affect A? Question mark. Well, let's say we pull out a card and we know that it's spades, but we don't say anything else. We simply satisfy that we did not get a dime, but we got spades. Does that affect the chance or the probability of drawing an ace? And the answer is no, not at all. The probability of that being an, an ace is still 1 out of 13, so it has no effect on the probability of A once we know the outcome of B. How about the other way around? Once we know the outcome of A, does that affect the probability of B? So let's say we draw a card, and indeed, we got an ace. But we don't know anything else. We simply satisfy the probability that we got an ace. And so how does it affect B? It does not affect B at all, because it can be any type of ace. It can be any one of the four different kinds. And so it could still be a diamond. It could still be something else. And therefore, the probability of B has not changed it is still one quarter, so you can see, since knowing what happened to B does not affect the probability of A, and knowing once we know A, it does not affect the probability of B, therefore we can say that both of these events are indeed independent, and that is how it's done.